Since the beginning of time, men, and sometimes women, have been growing out their facial hair. Scholars, rock stars, artists, and many other great men have had them. But what's the point? Except for looking extremely badass. Well, one man-child decided to actually use his beard for something. Who is this five-year-old trapped in a college student, you ask? His name is Bobby Martin. Oh, hello there. I didn't notice you. So for the past six months, I've been growing out this masterpiece of amazingness, and I think it's finally time to shave it. Why, you ask? Well, because it's No Shave November, of course. See, the thing is, a lot of people think that No Shave November, or Movember, is just for growing out amazing beards and beautiful mustaches. But do they know the real meaning behind it? Let's go and find out. I'm sorry, I don't know a thing about it. No Shave November, I don't know a thing. It's the best thing ever. I know I don't got like a full beard and stuff, but the beards are awesome, man. All I know is that you don't shave in November. No, it's uh, so you can really be a man, and grow your beard. It's like where you don't shave your beard or your mustache for the entire month of November. Do, do people not shave their legs in November? As you can tell, not that many people know the true meaning behind No Shave November. So, to properly explain it, we're going to have to go back in time to ancient Greece. The idea came about when November didn't even exist, with a little known philosopher named Plato. Plato decided that for the guardians of the time to truly be educated in the correct way, they had to follow in the footsteps of some of Greece's most smartest and powerful people, the gods. So, he insisted that young guardians grow out their beards for 30 days to look just like the gods they praised. The next person to use not shaving as a way of supporting a cause came with the main man of communism himself, Karl Marx. He was actually the one that coined the term No Shave November. He used the concept to help celebrate communism and fight against the capitalist scum. He planned to have people grow out their beards as a way of pretty much flipping off capitalist factory owners. The plan failed, the idea of fame to obscurity. Until a group of scrappy Australian men in 2004 breathed new life into it. However, they changed the meaning of it a little bit. They used it as a way to raise awareness about not only prostate cancer, but depression in men as well. Since then, the concept has gotten global and being used to help many different causes. People might ask, what's the significance of growing out facial hair? What's an easy answer? People let their beards and their mustaches and everything grow out and go crazy for cancer patients who have lost all their hair. So, as a way of doing my part, I decided to set up my own page on the official No Shave November website. And as a way of getting people to donate, I put some incentives in place for when we reach certain goals. At 500, beard gets shaved. At 1,000, head gets shaved. And if we were actually reached 1,500, I'd get my chest waxed. And as some of you probably hoped, a miracle happened, and we reached $1,660. And I just want to take a second to say thank you to everyone who donated, everyone who shared my link, everyone who I've done anyway. You're amazing and kind-hearted people. From the bottom of my heart, I love you all. Thank you. And right now, I'm going to show some of the names of some of the people Donate to this great cause. Now I'm gonna head up to the Smooth Skincare Studio on 111 Wabash to make my chest look like one of those creepy cats. See you in there. Okay, so as the lovely Alicia McComb makes me as smooth as a newborn baby, I'm gonna explain some facts about prostate cancer. About one out of seven men will get prostate cancer in their lifetime, and altogether one in 39 men will die as a result of it. Prostate cancer is usually found in men over the age of 65, but there have been cases of those under the age of 40 being discovered to have it. In 2016 alone, 26,120 men died as a result of this killer. 180,890 new cases have also been discovered in 2016. Luckily, the rate of survival has drastically increased over the past 20 years. If you are a man over the age of 50, you should consult with your doctor to see if a prostate check is right for you. Having a finger stuck up your butt might just save your life. Oh, God. 
very little. Oh, thank God. Oh! Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the one. That, was, that, that felt was like the, the one. Yeah, that oh. was the one. That was the one. Oh, my God. Now that my chest has been torn to shreds, thank you, Andre DeLuca, for getting us to 1500. It's time to lose my luscious locks. So let's head into Floyd's of the South Loop and turn my head into a crystal ball. As my man Dizco shaves off all my hair, let me explain a little bit about the No Shave November Foundation. Now, the official No Shave November Foundation not only raises money to combat prostate cancer, but it helps to fight all forms of cancer as well. This is made possible by the foundation teaming up with the American Cancer Society, Prevent Cancer Foundation, Fight Colorectal Cancer, and the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. This helps to fight off cancer on almost every front. <laughs> it just feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> now I'd like to thank Tony Thomas for making this de-herring possible. If you guys ever need a haircut, come to Floyd's Barbershop, especially the one in the South Loop. I, I think I got a haircut here before and it was great, but this is, this is amazing. And as for Disco, oh, yeah. he's my man. All right. Thank oh, you. dude, thank you so much for doing this. Now let's go shave my beard. So, you must be asking me, Bobby, I can't grow a beard, but I still want to get involved. Well, don't worry, you can. There's a million and one ways to get involved in fighting against cancer. You can raise money for St. Baldrick's and shave your head. Uh, you can participate in a Relay for Life in your area. Or, you can just raise money yourself. It's as easy as that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, thanks to Nancy Martin, the beard is gone. No Shave November is much more than just an excuse not to shave for a month. It's a way to help save lives. So next November, instead of shaving daily, let it grow and do some good. You're still here? It's over. Close the video, my hair's gone. Oh, you want that? Well, if you help me get to 2000 next year, maybe I'll consider getting a Brazilian. Now, go.